Welcome back. Israel is celebrating the 60th anniversary of its founding with fireworks and fanfares and professions of hope for peace. Its most important ally and the chief sponsor of the peace talks launched six months ago, U.S. President George Bush, is due to visit next week. Germany, too, is taking a strong interest in the celebrations. Its relations with Israel are now close, and German leaders across the political spectrum see the relationship as a core element in German foreign policy. Israeli President Shimon Peres said recently that, quote, good relations can help overcome negative experiences and make sure that the shadow of the past doesn't return. The younger generation in both countries has not forgotten those shadows, but it's looking ahead. We paid a visit to Samson Altman Shevitz, a Jew born in Germany, who's doing his utmost to promote strong ties. Most mornings, Samson Altman Shevitz sits down to learn Hebrew with his tutor in Jerusalem. A new country, a new alphabet, it's all pretty overwhelming. To start learning the language with new letters, I didn't have a religious upbringing. This is all new and difficult. Two years ago, at the age of 29, Samson left Germany and traveled to Israel. His parents are American. Though he was born and raised in Berlin, the place he feels most at home is Jerusalem. I think that's because of several things. First, it's the Jewish culture. This is my culture and I feel rooted here. It feels familiar. The second thing is the multicultural community. Recent German immigrants form a very small minority here. Since the establishment of the State of Israel, only a few thousand have arrived. But there are lots of German tourists. Samson organizes educational tours in Israel for them, also to boost Israel's image abroad. I think people from Europe or from all over the world come here with an incredible amount of prejudice against Israel, or at least they have a set idea of the political situation. I try to challenge that. But Samson hasn't broken off his ties with Germany. He often comes back to Berlin. But every time he returns, he notices one thing above all. Jewish life in Germany is something out of the ordinary. At the Anne Frank Center, he meets with two other young people from Poland and Germany. They organize information projects about right-wing extremism. Samson says that, as a German Jew, he feels a special responsibility to take action. We hold the memory of the Holocaust victims alive and bring that across to young people, making them think about it and what they can do to make sure it never happens again. And I find it wonderful how we can sit together. Eva from Poland, I'm a German Israeli, Matthias is German. It sounds kitschy, but working together on this project is our way of creating peace. Kitschig gesagt, selber Frieden schaffen, also dadurch, dass wir zusammensitzen. Together with a Palestinian representative and a Berlin clergyman, they're discussing peace networking. At this meeting, they're planning an initiative for students in Israel in the hope that a simple first step is within their grasp. We bring young people together. I don't expect anything more than for them to get to know each other and make friends. I think that's what we can achieve at the moment. It's something that doesn't often occur in Israel. Like most Israelis, Samson Altman Shevitz doesn't often venture across into the Arab quarter of Jerusalem. If he does head into the Muslim part of the city, it's often to satisfy a longing for a taste of Germany. While enjoying an apple strudel in a local cafe, he talks about his hopes for the future and for the country he now calls home. The ideal scenario would be for Israel to exist alongside a Palestinian state and in peace with other countries. The nightmare scenario would be that everything remains as it is or gets even worse. You just can't know what will happen. But one thing is certain. Samson Altman Shevitz is staying put. He wants to raise a family here. Whatever the future holds for Israel, he intends to be part of it. Well, as we saw in that report, Jewish life in Germany is still marked by the experience of the Holocaust. And because of Germany's past, its political leaders are keen to stress the country's special duty toward Israel. But a recent survey suggests that the majority of ordinary Germans are not willing to acknowledge any such responsibility. Forty percent polled do agree with the concept, but 53 percent reject the idea that they should bear special responsibility. The survey also found that a majority of Germans take a critical view of Israel. 
especially its handling of the conflict with the Palestinians. And let's go now to Johannes Gerster, who's president of the German-Israeli Society. As we just heard there, Mr. Gerster, 53 percent of Germans think that their country does not have a special responsibility to Israel. How do you explain that? Yes, uh, I'm not happy about this uh, poll, about this result. I think uh, uh, we Germans have a special responsibility for Israel, and uh, I hope that uh, education in the schools, in our, in our society, can help to see uh, that we Germans have to take side in the uh, Israeli-Palestinian conflict more for Israel. If anything, there's actually increasing criticism here in Germany of the way that Israel handles the conflict with the Palestinians. What do you think about that? Should Germany voice an opinion in this debate? Uh, the question is, what is the reason uh, for the conflict? Is the reason Israel? I think no. Israel have the right uh, to live, the uh, Jewish people have the right to live in security and in peace in the Middle East. And on the other side, I think it would be good uh, to build a second state in the neighborhood to Israel, a Palestinian state. Uh, but against this uh, state uh, in neighborhood to Israel is a Hamas, is a Iran, is a Hezbollah and so on. Um, and it is uh, important to speak about the reason for the conflict in Germany more uh, than uh, today. And it can help uh, to improve the political climate in Germany uh, uh, for Israel and for the Jewish people in the Middle East. What role can and should Germany and the European Union be playing in moving the peace process along? I think, I think Germany cannot be a mediator. A mediator. Uh, this is the role of the United States and maybe uh, the role of the uh, European Union. Uh, but I think uh, Israel uh, 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 needs more help of the European Union and Germany could be the motor in the European Union, that the European Union uh, will be more active in the peace process in the Middle East. Uh, our role is uh, to work in Europe, and uh, our role is not to be a mediator uh, in the Middle East. And how would you describe formal German-Israeli relations? This relation is very good, very, very good. You know, um, uh, we have a very good relation to France, and the governments of France and Germany uh, come every year together uh, in common meetings to speak about the relation, and now we have the same system uh, between Israel and Germany. The formal, the official relation are 100% perfect, and uh, this is a, a wonderful thing to see uh, when uh, Ehud Olmert, the Prime Minister of Israel, and uh, Angela Merkel, the uh, Chancellor of Germany, work together uh, for Israel and for Germany. This is a very good formal official relation. Thank you very much. You have